Okay, so here we're going to do another example of finding the equation of a tangent line. Um, and here we're going to find the equation of a tangent line to the curve y equals x squared plus x minus 2 at x equals 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, figure out, I'm going to rewrite actually, so I'm going to, instead of y, I'm going to call it f of x. So x squared plus x minus 2. Well, if you think about, you know, kind of making a little xy chart, we know that the x coordinate's 4, that's what's given to us. To figure out the corresponding y value on the function, well, we just plug it in. So we'll have f of 4, which is going to be 4 squared plus 4 minus 2. Well, let's see, 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 4 is going to be 20. And then we can subtract 2, and that will give us 18. All right, so again, if we use a point-slope formula, I know the equation of the line is going to be y minus the y-coordinate, which is 18. That's going to equal the slope, which we don't know. We'll have to uh, use the derivative to find the slope of the tangent line. And then we have x minus 4. So again, to get the slope of the tangent line, we have to find the derivative. And in this case, we'll have to plug in the x-coordinate of 4 because that's the point we're using. So. Alrighty, so now we've just got to go back and use this long definition of the derivative. Um, again, the good thing is soon we'll see shortcuts on how to do this stuff, which will make uh, life much easier for us, um, except then they give you, you know, much longer functions to find the derivative of. So, kind of a trade-off, but that's okay. So, okay, we're going to compute the, uh, the derivative, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So again, everywhere there's an x, I need to replace it with x plus h. So I would have x plus h squared plus x plus h minus 2. So there's our f of x plus h. And then we'll subtract away the original function, our f of x function, which is x squared plus x minus 2. And again, that's all being divided by h. So let's see, we've got the limit as h goes to 0. Um, again, I think we've seen a few examples where we've had to do x plus h squared you would have to distribute that out so we would get x times x or x squared we would get an x times an h and another x times h so we would get 2xh then plus h squared and now I'm just going to remove the parentheses from everything else so we would get plus x plus h minus 2 when we distribute the negative we'll get negative x squared minus x and then plus 2 and again this is all being divided by h so again, everything that doesn't have, that's not being multiplied by h, should cancel out. So positive x squared and negative x squared, that's gone. Uh, positive x and negative x, that's gone. Uh, negative 2 and positive 2, that's also gone. Um, so it looks like the only thing that we're left with uh, in the numerator, let's see, we've still got our 2xh hanging out. We've got our plus h squared left over. And then we have our plus h left over, again, all being divided by h. And at this point, we can factor an h out of the numerator and cancel that out with the h in the, the denominator. So if we pull the h out, well, h times 2x would give us 2xh. Um, h times h would give us h squared. And then h times positive 1, uh, when we distribute, will give us our positive h. Again, all over h. So if we cancel out the h's, again, uh, you can think about there's being a multiplication by 1 in, in the denominator. Um, so really, we're just left with the limit as h approaches 0 of the quantity 2x plus h plus 1. Well, again, now uh, we just substitute in h equals 0. So we'll get 2x plus 0 plus 1, or, well, 2x plus 1. And that's now going to be a formula for our derivative. So a little bit of work there again uh, to find the derivative. So OK, so we said to figure out the slope of the tangent line, all we have to do is find the derivative and then plug in the x-coordinate of 4. Well, let's do that. So it says f prime of 4. It says that'll give us uh, 2 times 4 plus 1. Well, 2 times 4 is just 8 plus 1. That's going to give us 9. And now uh, we can just drop that in, and we'll have the equation of our tangent line. 
So we would have y minus 18 equals the slope, which is 9 times x minus 4. Uh, and that would be a nice uh, equation for your tangent line. Again, you can always uh, multiply this out and uh, put it in slope-intercept form. Um, but, you know, I would say, hey, this is an equation of a line, so uh, to me, we're done. Unless somebody specifically asks for slope-intercept, you know, usually I would just say, let's stop there and, and call it a day.